Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion, and the finer things in life. And today, we're talking about Shalini fragrances, Shalini perfumes. After bridal fragrances, marriage talk, I thought we would discover something new, something really high quality, really top notch, high segment, and at the same time, very niche, very exclusive. And my answer came from Shalini, Shalini fragrances. I have four samples in front of me right now that I purchased from the perfumery called Ides in New York. They arrived, I've been testing them. So if you want to know my thoughts about Shalini perfumes, please don't go anywhere. So we are talking about Shalini fragrances. I am so excited. We're going to be discovering something really new, really fancy, really high quality. I'm so excited because you know what? I don't think my channel would be meaningful if we stopped discovering new fragrances. So here we go. And Shalini is a woman, a designer, haute couture, haute couturière, and then, you know, uh, I think she also studied fashion and architecture too. And she made a collaboration with one and only Maurice Rossel and came up with this exquisite sublime juices. We're going to start with the perfume called Shalini. And this is her first fragrance. So before we go into the fragrances, I labeled myself. So this is one fragrance. This is another one. And here another one. And then here we have another one. So I applied them and they have dried down. At the same time together, we're just going to apply some a little more so that I can, I, I'm going to get the whole picture, hold the entire meaning of the fragrance. And I just perfumed and sent them in a pockets like so and they are 0 0.7 milliliters meaning 700 microliters of juices here in these small bottles and i paid 15 dollars per each vial they're very expensive and shalina puts uh, her juices in representations made by rene lalique and they retail around three thousand dollars at bergdorf goodman right now but luckily, she also put them in uh, simpler presentations, which are more affordable. And actually, I'm going to be purchasing one of those. And that fragrance is going to be the last fragrance on my list because that is my favorite. However, what is happening with this fragrance called Shalini herself? This is an excellent white floral fragrance. Very feminine tuberose a little orange blossom and also like a creamy musky feeling to it i believe this has the finest quality tuberose absolute in it i believe shalini you know my gold standard my blue standard in tuberose fragrances is actually uh, ramon monegal kiss my name i still like it better than this however if you are a tuberose fan if you are a tuberose connoisseur and if you are obsessed with one of the high quality tuberose absolutes in the world of touching your skin i think this is the fragrance you have to go with go check this one out shalini shalini all right second fragrance on my list is actually they are next to the last release so as far as i know in 2021, just like maybe five days ago or 10 days ago, they came up with a fragrance called Vanille I think it's a gourmand, floral gourmand fragrance with vanilla, again by Maurice Rossel. I haven't had the opportunity to test drive it yet, but I will as soon as I can. I'm really curious. However, before that, Maurice Rossel did this uh, Ichi Lumière, and I have it here on my arm. This is this dried down a little. Let me just, you know, a little get a little more juice they are very concentrated too they are in perfume concentrations oh my god they leave that oil slick on your skin which is giving me life and at the same time since they are so high quality and natural organ or ingredients organics uh, the projection is not like monstrous it's not like you know radiating it's this close to your skin but longevity is really nice and as your body heats up 
they heat up too. It's just like, you know, you radiate even more, which is perfect, which screams quality. And I have that in one of my uh, fragrances too, Sergio Richwood. That has that beautiful high quality thing going on in that juice as well. This reminds me of that, you know, high quality feeling that I'm getting from that Sergio. I love Iris. That's my soft point. I like anything. I would wear anything Iris in it. However, this this is not moving me, you know. It, it's dynamic. It's bright. Really sparkly. At the same time, green and very sharp at some points. Very feminine, but also very masculine. Iris could be both. I think Maurice Rosal did a great job in this fragrance. It's just that, you know, I... I couldn't find what I was looking for. However, if you are an Iris fan, this interpretation of Iris, which is Iris, uh, like, you know, bright, sparkly, lively Iris. Oh, this is very high quality. I am 100% sure. Shalini Yulidic girl. I mean, she, she just serves quality here. It is beautiful. It's just that... Maybe, I don't know, maybe I was prejudiced uh, when it comes to Iris that I'm always looking for something that's going to really, really wow me. Maybe this will wow me eventually. It might grow on you. But for now, I'm just going to move on to the third fragrance on my list, which is Amoram Rose. Ooh, one of the best amber fragrances. Oh my goodness. WTF girl Shalini. This is a very hard fragrance to wear. It's here. And the dry down is still smoky, still like you know, very expensive woods burning up, and you're just like dumping the highest quality Bulgarian rose from the Rose Valley on them. It's just like burning rose and love. Oh, this is sensual. This is more oriental than the most oriental scent maybe the amber if i'm not mistaken as far as i know this has real amber from baltic sea could that be possible let me know down in the comment section i think they found some fossils or whatever in the baltic sea or did they do the a core of that three notes that is going to replicate the baltic amber I, I don't know but i think this might have the real thing please let me know down in the comment section I want to know more about this, but let's just put this on a little more. Oh, woo! This is smoky. This is that Bulgarian rose, which is really, really complex, and there are many aspects to it. And those aspects are underlined, underscored by this amber and woody notes. That smokiness and the rose made it so captivating so intriguing this is a difficult fragrance i find it hard to wear it i i think i'm having a hard time pulling this fragrance on myself which is a rarity however this rose interpretation this rose mixture bulgarian rose from that rose valley i heard a uh interview of shalini and then she says that she got the real deal from the rose valley this has that one and only rose uh, absolute from uh, Bulgarian Rose Valley. So we know that. And the amber too. This is really good. I, I think if you are a fragrance collector, you have to put your nose onto this one. This is a little shocking too. Very good. Wow. All right. The last fragrance on my list is the one that I am going to purchase. Hopefully soon. Let's see how finances work. In the near future, I'm not going to go with the Lalique presentation, which is $3,000, but I think I'm just going to go with like a 15 ml or 30 ml presentation, maybe 50, with that uh, black uh, kind of like atomizer kind of thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think still those presentations are really good too. I think Shalini is onto something here when it comes to this like high quality, highest, highest, highest top-notch material and my personal favorite oh my goodness Jardin Nocturne do you see it no 
maybe. Yeah, this is from Aedes Fragrances too, 0 0.5 ml, 700 microliters, just for $15. Oh my god, I cherish this sample. Oh, uh, it's a little, I have just a little dent here happening because I've been wearing this actually. I'm enjoying this a lot. This is, oh no, this is Shalini Bark. Oh, I have this here. Let's just put this here too. Oh, oud. But this is it. This is the real oud. It's not that animalic. It, it is that burning sensation of oud that is so inviting. According to Shalini, Maurice Roussel went to Hassan or to get the other wood, real deal. I think this shows what the jasmine. This is, they say that the inter, uh, inspiration for this was Dubai and the fragrant nights, like the Middle Eastern nights. I am originally from Turkey. I'm not really, really Middle Eastern, but I see where they are coming from here. I'm not really a big fan of Dubai and stuff, you know, but this one, ooh, 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 wow. Jasmine, I love Jasmine too, oud. Very oriental, very sexy, like oh, soaking wet, but at the same time very warm, sweaty nights. Oh, so good. And they have, I think, saffron in this too. And since this is so high quality, uh, saffron sometimes uh, can be so spicy, but it is really well placed and like really well uh, used in an fragrance like so it gives that sweetness it gives that sweet touches making without making it too diabetic too sugary it's just that quality that like thin line that they are walking in this fragrance screams money great fragrance everyone oh my god this you have to check if you are an oriental lover if you want real oud touching your skin with jasmine and saffron and if you want yourself having sex on a fragrant night in the middle east oh with one friends with two friends maybe ten this is middle eastern gangbang i'm telling you go check this one out Woo! All right, this brings me to the end of my video. Shalini, you did it. These are really nice fragrances. Unfortunately, very expensive. But I hope I was able to help you understand a little more or how to, you know, maneuver yourself when it comes to Shalini fragrances. Let me know down in the comment section if you ever tried Shalini. How did you feel? Have you ever been able to? Test drive the new fragrance Vani Khev by Mohis Rosal and Shalini. Also, let me know down in the comment section. I can't wait to see you at my at the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for spending time with me, discovering new stuff, researching. I really appreciate that. Oh, for now, take care, everyone.